Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be playing with liquid latex, which um, it's going to be an interesting time. As you may see, I have a little heart on here. So today what we're going to be using is, uh, we're going to be using some makeup too, uh, and maybe some little face paint crayons, but primarily we're going to be using some liquid latex, some fake blood and some toilet paper and little cotton tabs. Okay, so this is something I've never done before on this channel, special effects, and you guys may have seen from my most recent Yuri post, I did a sort of Yuri uh, has carved a heart into herself because she loves MC. Um, <laughs> So yeah, we're going to, I'm going to show you guys how I got that and we're going how to do it. Alright, let's go. I'm sorry that the camera is like kind of at a weird placement. It's just uh, because I'm in the washroom and I've got my whole ring light in here because that's the only um, tripod that I have. So um, there's not a lot of space and I can't move up any further than that. So we're going to have to live. I'm gonna go in with this brush, which is kind of crusty, so now I don't feel so bad. Okay, we're gonna dip into the liquid latex. See, got some on my brush, and we're gonna just go over the heart. Okay, so we're gonna have to work somewhat fast. You want to get your toilet paper and Tear it. We're gonna try and stick it on to the latex over top of the heart formation. Don't worry about it looking exactly like the heart. Trust me, it's all gonna blend in. We're just creating some fake skin is all. Now that we've got our little heart, we're gonna go over it again with the liquid latex. We're gonna cover it again. this for me. We're gonna just kind of paint over it. Give it a good wet coating all along the edges and everything too. Really want to paint it down. Okay, so now this is where the hair dryer goes in. We're going to don't go on super hot because you'll hurt yourself. Um, and we're just gonna go on maybe like medium. And we're gonna and we're gonna dry the liquid latex so we can add more layers. Okay, it's pretty dry, so we're gonna add just another layer. Let me just pre-rip my shreds. Another layer. Oh my god, did that just on my no it didn't. Okay. We're just repeating the same process again. You wanna do it maybe uh you wanna have maybe um three to four layers just so that way it's comfortable for when you're cutting it open. Okay, so now that we are all uh layered up, we're going to put some foundation over the um little fake skin area. Give it that real skin. Ooh, whoop. Not that's not this type of channel. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're gonna give it that real skin sort of look to it. Don't worry if it doesn't completely blend into our skin. We're gonna further blend it later. Okay. Okay. So now you're gonna want to retrace a heart on it which I'll come right back with, that's what I was mentioning the face paint sticks for, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're just gonna take our little face paint crayon and we're gonna retrace the heart. I'm gonna have to go over here. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just enough so you can see while you're cutting. It's like a little uh, tracing spot. Okay, so now very carefully, you're gonna wanna stick it in the fake skin. 
like that. I would suggest having dollar scissors, these. They're very hard to cut yourself with, which is very good because if you have smaller scissors, it's very, very easy to just accidentally cut yourself, which is no good. We're not gonna keep this side of the skin because it's gonna be like an open wound. So we can cut this off as we go along. So now I can just do this because we don't need her anymore. So now we have sort of like an open skin area, which we can go in the back with our foundation and cover. So it looks like skin for any of the areas that we don't get fake blood trickling down. I'm gonna go in with this red lipstick because um, it looks super red. It's probably gonna stain my chest. It's fine, I'll wear t-shirts, we'll live. Okay, it's um, the Fenty Beauty lipstick, by the way. I thought that would just work really well as a base for under, just in case the fake blood starts to come out of it, you know? Then it'll still have a deep red underneath. I'm just gonna fill up the heart with some lipstick. I find sometimes the fake blood just starts to come out after a while. This way we can keep it a deep red. And I like to sort of have it out the sides. And I try and blend that out afterwards. Okay, so taking a second paintbrush and we're kind of just fanning out that blood on the outside. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette because it has a lot of good colors for this. So we're going to go in with a bit of henna, which is almost like a rusty brown color. And we're going to just sort of bruise out the outsides. And we're going to take Man Eater, which is a more red shade. We're going to bring it in. As well. I'm gonna go in with a cotton pad. Oh, this is fresh. I haven't opened this yet. I didn't know that. Okay. Go in with the cotton pad. Stick it in our bleeding heart. black for this. It feels so cold and funny. Okay, awesome. I'll wash this wig after, it's fine. Same thing's gonna happen to my Uno you know, wig. We'll just, we'll wash those boys. Okay, so this concludes my Bleeding Hearts Yuri sort of SFX makeup tutorial. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys learned some things today and we had fun and um, if you guys use this tutorial, Tag me in it. I'd love to see it. Um, yeah, thank you.